Hey guys, it's me, Ruined here, and welcome to season six of Fortnite. <clears throat> oh boy, I got a smoothie if you drink me. Um, if you hear me drink anything, but yeah, I already watched this, but you guys check this out, man. I predicted this, by the way, before all the videos came out. I predicted it in August, and she did it with my friends in September. Check this out. The cube is back, and Loot Lake is up, and Skull Trooper. Boom. <laughs> and yeah, look at underneath Loot Lake. So in today's video, the reason I uploaded late today, I previously did that, I'm recording this the same day it's going up, is because I wanted to showcase this live with you guys when it was still popular and trending. See, so yeah, this is the Battle Pass. I'm going to eventually buy it. So yeah, they added pets and stuff now. Um, Yeah. As you see, um, what's inside? You can buy the battle pass. I don't know why the pictures aren't showing up, but yeah, pets. Which let me see if I can get it back. Um. Okay, whatever. So here is the first skin, the la the llama DJ, which there was the first thing that got teased. Sick. And then this girl, who or cowgirl, that turns into a really really sick um cowboy. Wait for it. And next one's really cool. It has an effect like the other ones. Look at that. That's sick. See, then they have the five. I'm going to buy this in a minute, but... <laughs> okay, that's cool. Um, Yeah, there's a new glider picnic. Um, That's kind of cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, DJ Llama is what I'm really hyped for. I can't believe he's the first skin. He's really cool. The freaking pets. There's pets now, boys. So the first one you get is a dog. And what the heck is this? Yo, you get... What? So you get this. Squeaky clean. Um, wow, that's weird. Oh, that's the floss. Oh. And there's stuff like that. B-Bucks. New falling trails. Yo, that is so cool, actually. And yeah, this is probably one of the funniest skins. <laughs> he runs around. It's like one of those Llama Halloween costumes. It's a default, but it's pretty freaking funny, if you ask me. Um... What else is there? Um, there's more of these GG. Okay, and there's new axe. Guiding glow. Yeah, most of the stuff is for Halloween. And boom, another pet. Camo. The lizard. <laughs> he seems pretty cool. And we also can throw tomatoes. Running man. Oh my god, why did they add that? So this is my first time looking at the battle pass, really, too. Um, and boom right here. Fireflies. God, these are cool. And then camper. Oh no, the recovered clues. Yeah, look at this so cool well yeah a lot of stuff is Halloween look waveform the cape the cape for DJ llama is what I call him and a dragon they added a freaking dragon which is amazing <laughs> um and right here fable the red riding set <laughs> that's nice so here's another sound eerie And yeah, jack o' lanterns. God, I'm so hot. Hall I'm so glad Halloween's coming back to Fortnite, man. It was so fun when I played back then, even though no one is stupid. Another dog. You level up with the pets some for some reason, and new. That is a weird emote. Okay, so the next one um, we have is bats, which probably goes well with that one. Dusk. Me. That's kind of funny. Um, and then fancy tomato, which you can throw. It's funny. Pink scales. Pretty cool, <laughs> if you ask me. Swarm, yo, that's cool. I love these live action gliders, man. And then nightshade, the f aka the pumpkin slash female version of tomato, man. Coming in with the cloak in the back. Spectral, which isn't even that cool. And Bonesy, the maxed out dog. Look at how cute he is, man. I can't get over these pets. They're so cool. OG remix. Oh. I miss the good old days of Fortnite. God, that's cool. Fomenso, whatever. And then we get to the end, <laughs> the max out dragon scales. 
And the final skin, Dire. Just wait for it. Boom. 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 Boom, baby. The skins are amazing. I can't wait to get the full Max out Dragon with Dire outfit. This is going to be sick. So right now I'm going to buy the Battle Pass and I'll be back to you guys in a second. But yeah, guys, look at this in-game lobby right here. Look at this in-game lobby. This is so cool. And also, I heard a theory with the item shop. There's going to be dark versions coming of Rex. Um, oh, that's cool. They added the arrows. Dark versions of Rex, um, Bright Bomber, Drift, and um, the Pink Teddy Bear. And I wouldn't be surprised, I'm just going to say. But I'm not going to get any of those. I stopped spending my money on that stuff. But this battle pass is too good to pass by. So let's see if we can get the about back. I want to get these pictures. There we go. How's it work? Play level back. There we go. Okay, so I'll just let you guys look at the pictures. Next one. And yeah, look at all this cool stuff. There's the pick for DJ Llama, which is amazing. Gosh, I love this. I cannot wait. And boom, the last one introducing pets. They're so cute. I love them. Gosh, I can knock it over it. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Sorry, I have a little bit of a... I am a little sick here. So purchase. I'm not going to be buying that. I'm going to be buying Season 6. Now I'll still have 400 Battle Pass tiers remaining. I mean, V-Bucks. Um, so we got 12 tier or 12 items. So we got those two. DJ Llama. <laughs> I'm just going to call him DJ Llama. The girl, the cowgirl. Um, I'll play as her once I get her more upgraded because I really don't like the default one. I'm just going to play some DJ Llama up in this house. And yeah, those are all the items that we got. Hey, I got some V-Bucks back. I forgot you get a lot of V-Bucks for this type of stuff. So let's go to my locker right now. Um, check out the new skin. So there's one of them. And God, I'm shivering. It's so cold in here. Okay, so DJ Yonder. I'm going to use DJ Yonder. This is going to be lit. What new emotes do I have? Let's take a look. Now, I'm going to set everything up, and I'll meet you guys in the game so I can show you guys the new things on the map. So as normal, there is hunting party challenges. So yeah, obviously, she is a vampire hunter, not a cowgirl or anything. So let's go. And look at it. You have to complete 50 week challenges. That's five seasons, man. <coughs> oh my gosh. So I guess R to Werewolf, it's something like that, but it's cool. So you need eight things to unlock it. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. You need all eight of these? How you gotta complete 50 week challenges on this? Oh my god, you have to play for ages. Okay, so yeah, now I'm gonna hop into a match, but god, that's a little outrageous, don't you think? So as you can see down there, Shadow Stones are disabled, and that was one of the things I was gonna show you, but I'll still describe it. I got some gameplay earlier on my phone. But it probably didn't save over now, which sucks. Okay, guys, so a couple things to point out right away. As you see, we have a moving thing in the map, which is actually now in a loot lake. Here are all the symbols of the anti-gravity zones, too. Something's different with Fatal Fields, which I didn't notice. Oh, yeah, the wheat is actually growing as a representation of it becoming a different part of the year. And supposedly, yep, there is a castle right over here now. Right over, as you see, straight ahead, but we'll go to that later. First, let's make a stop at Loot Lake and check out what's new at Loot Lake, which obviously was the main thing of this season, the cube, which is actually pretty cool, and this is probably one of the coolest things that's happened in seasons, because I have already looked at the, um, this stuff, and I did hop into playground mode, just because, and this glider actually fits really well with him, and yeah, uh, so let's check this out. So right when you land at Loot Lake, you can obviously tell that it's different, and that the island is floating. So there's also a llama down here, which is kind of nice. But here is the lower part of Loot Lake right here. Um, there's still loot. Um, like right here, there is a SMG. And this has actually been vaulted. This is just, they're, in, they're available in Playground, but that is about it. But right here, if you search a chest, you still get re regular items. Um, and yeah, there's a chest. There's stuff over there. There's medikit over there. Chest right there. And I'm not really here to search for chests and stuff. But yeah, as you see, there's a giant hole right there in the middle of it. And I want to show you guys something extremely cool about this season. But first, I was wondering if we could get up here. And yeah, sadly, some of the things that they have vaulted are imp such things such as impulse nades, which are actually really important. Bouncers, which I don't know why the heck they even decided to do that, because bouncers are like the best thing ever. Um, and they brought the TAC SMG back. They also vaulted um, some other stuff, but I don't really remember. They vaulted the LMG, but watch this. As I go towards the middle, you can fly in Loot Lake now. Look at that, you can still hit the cube and stuff, and it still bounces you back. And it actually looks a lot more different. It looks smoother. And yeah, as you see, thanks to the whirlwind, you can now fly above Loot Lake. 
as you can see right here, we are now above Loot Lake, flying around it. And this is about a, this is the max you can go right here. And look, you can just land right on the island right here and get your loot. Or if you, it's also if you want to get down, it's easy. Perfect. The grappler that'll make this video a lot quicker. And wow, they actually really reduced the grappler to ten. Gosh, they've done a lot of stuff that a lot of people aren't gonna like in this new update. But yeah, I believe everything in the house is the same. But I will double check it because I did not get a full look through yet of it. So let's take a look at that. So yeah, this is pretty much the same. Yeah, I don't know why the house would change in the first place. But one thing I am curious about is those underground mines. Because there used to be these under... Whoa, lag much? There used to be these underground mines that were here, but now they aren't. So I'm just really curious to see what happens with that. But yeah, everything in the house was the same. So now I'm going out and I'm going to look for those mines. Because I am really curious. Like, you know what I mean? Like, underneath the house, you could go play... Yeah, right... Okay, it is. It's right here. <clears throat> Never mind. So that's probably the same, too. Nothing really new about that. I'll cut back if there is anything new. Oh yeah, and as you see, there's also just scattered. There, this is probably one of the best places for loot now. As you can see, it is scattered. There is a, tons of loot scattered everywhere around this map, and it is insane of how much loot there actually is. As you can see, that was only one of many chests. I'll fly around and show you guys more. See, that's the best thing. You don't die to fall damage. You can just fly around. Yeah, there's a chest right there that I got earlier when I first landed here. Another chest right there. This place is so many chests. So if you go here for squads, probably a really good place. I just see another chest there. Llamas can even spawn up here. Another chest behind that car, and we made our way around. But as you see, if you exit out of the whirlwind, you fall a lot quicker. And yeah, you can glide. It's so cool. I really love this update of um, yeah, of Loot Lake. Now I want to do. I do want to test something out. I want to get in this and drive in the center of it and see if anything happens. And as you see, there's no more bouncy stuff in Loot Lake. But I wonder what happens if you like, do you just like fall or do you do fly or I'm just curious. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Nope, you literally just fly. <laughs> Yo, that is so funny though. This is so cool. And look at you just freaking fall. Oh my gosh. I'm getting out of this thing. Okay, well, that sucked. Okay, so um, now I want to check out these symbols. All these are pretty much the same. There's one actually right up here. As you see, they have now spiked a giant thing in the ground somehow. I don't know how. But as you see, there is normally three. There can be up to three chests here, and there was actually these cubes in here. How do I get out of here again? I forgot how to get out of here. Z. Okay, yeah, I changed my keybinds. Um, you can actually there's these cubes in here that make you invisible and you run. I will look for gameplay in uh, in my uh, replay later, but they're really cool. Like if you want to look it up, you can. Um, they're really cool, and you can just like fly around the map, which is also insane. And now let's go check out that castle. I'm gonna go die now. <laughs> you just look at Loot Lake from this distance. It's amazing. See, up by Haunted Hills, that actually makes a lot of sense. Um, they still did keep the llama, and there is still a lot of stuff that is the same. They really just did some changes to current places, which I actually really like. And those anti-gravity zones, they are really cool, to be honest. As you probably noticed from the anti-gravity zones, you did not um fly in there. That's because they removed it, and then when you grab those uh, special cubes, that like hop rocks like we used to have back in Season 3, well, if, like when you got those, you could jump really high and stuff like that. Now, if you, um, if you grab just, like, one of those things, you can actually, it activates anti-gravity again and even lets you do other things. Like, you become almost invisible and you move really weirdly. I'll try to get gameplay for it as soon as it comes out. So, yeah, let's go to this castle. This video is going to be extra long, by the way, and I'm sorry about that if you don't like that. Okay, so here is the sky view of the castle. It looks exactly like Haunted Hills. And since this is a Halloween type of event, of course there's going to be, there's a new gravestone right there. I will check that out after this, but here's the castle. This is a really, really cool castle. So, I think you enter, yep, right here. And yeah. Here's the main thing of the castle, and as you saw in the battle pass, there was that one witch demon looking type girl. And yeah, well I guess that she, this is her castle or something. This is, this is really cool, and I can't wait to see how the heck season, um... Uh, 7 is going to play out now. I would keep thinking Season 6, to be honest, but no. They were all the way in Season 6 already. Um, and yeah, this is the bottom floor. I haven't <clears throat> really explored the castles or any of these new areas. I honestly have, I'm, this is the first time I'm looking at it. So, yeah, here's these little, I don't know what you call these, towers, I guess. And yeah, you can go in here, get your stuff, get out, <laughs> whatever, I don't know. But yeah, now let's build up to the second floor. There might be an entrance, which we will find out once we build up there. But this is actually amazing, and I actually really do like this. Yep, here is the second part of it. And no, I do not believe you can actually get up here via entrance. But yeah, um, this is really cool. Jump down here. There's ammo crates up there. More. There's a lot of ammo crates in here in Playground. Port of Forts, as you see, they're now blue. That's been like that for a while now. 
and let's see was there an entrance if I can find one yeah there was okay I'm just really stupid okay now let's move on actually I don't know if there's anything much more to know about I will take a look at stuff and I'll be right back here's like a front view of it that's really cool actually wow and just you see loot like just flying over there this is amazing but yeah, here's the grave like I promise it's just the one like up in the castle I don't know why I'm lagging so much all of a sudden but now I do want to take a look at um fatal fields and i if there's any more stuff that i missed i'm sorry uh i just i i'm just looking at what i see here and what i found earlier but as you see fatal fields looks different and i look on the map and i didn't really see that much difference tomato temple looks the same a lot of things do look the same so i apologize for the lag again i'm walking slow so maybe to reduce it but here's fatal fields and the wheat or whatever crop was growing and they added these new things here i don't know exactly what they are but they might be some type of sound system I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to walk into this. And you, oh, you can destroy I was going to say it'd be cool if you could, but you actually can destroy it. That's really cool. Obviously, it doesn't give you 20 wood. Since I'm going to play ground, look, you actually can get ammo from it. I wonder if you can get weapons. That'd be even cooler. So now there's a couple more things I do want to check out. I want to check out Lazy Links to see if there's anything different in that. And I kind of want to check out and see if the superhero base is still here and stuff. This is like you tell it's Halloween right here. There's ghosts. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. There's ghosts. That's amazing, man. The lightning strikes are still there from when the cubes struck, by the way. And I do see a purple dinosaur in the background over there. It does look like Superhero Base is still here. So that's good news, I guess, for people who love landing there. I don't really see anything too different about that. So I might just breeze over that and then we'll make our way to Lucky... I mean, not Lucky Landing. Um, for a risky reel to check that stuff out. Actually, there is something different about Superhero. Look at the gate. It's worn down. The house is even more worn down. Oh no, I wonder if the superheroes are all going away. No, those are good memories. Look at this. It's all going away, and the house is decaying. That really sucks. Again, now I'm tempted to check out the basement. As you see, look at a spray paint or some type of substance here. Lots more of this boards. Obviously, they didn't care as much about hiding their base. Oh, that sucks. God, oh, wow. This this is different. Um, jeez. That, that kind of sucks that this happened. Um, well, the Tepornish is taking away all the memories now, huh? Wow. Um, okay, then. Let's check out Risky, then. I hope it didn't... Do anything with that, because that was the same time the superhero arrow was out. The Tiki Heads are gone. They got rid of the Tiki Heads. Or whatever, Easter Island Heads. Oh my gosh, no! Judging from this far away, everything looks the same, which I'm glad about. I do want to check out the sign, though, to make sure everything is good with that, too. To see if there's any like new text that could possibly reveal something towards the next season. And God, just look at Loot Lake, man. Uh, this is this Halloween season. This is so cool, man. The bad thing about the tiki heads being gone now is that there was no more rifts there. So that's something I'm gonna have to rely on because I've, I mean, starting not to rely on because I have been relying on that for a while. Now I do want to check this out. See if there's maybe a different movie or something. Now there's a golf cart in here. That's kind of cool, I guess. Um, yeah. Well. Collecting on the secret banners didn't seem to give anything. I can't believe you have to complete 50 week challenges in order to get the black stripe on that. I ho that's ridiculous. Okay, so let me check this thing out right here. Yeah, I don't even know if it works anymore. Well then, I don't know if you can play the movie or not. But yeah, let's make our final stop at... Where was I, where was I say again? Oh, never mind. I think that's actually it for today's video, you guys. Now, like I said, I may have missed some stuff. Like, if I didn't go to Fatal or I didn't go to the Superhero House, I never would have caught any of that stuff disappearing. But now that it's all gone, um, it's a little weird. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. If you guys know, smash the like down below and subscribe. This is almost a 20-minute video, and I'm sorry, and I'm sorry that it was late. I just wanted to get this on time, and I'm recording this Thursday. Hopefully, it's up Thursday and or Friday, and I love this DJ Llama so much, but... My favorite skin out of this battle pass is probably the werewolf, and my favorite pet is probably the dragon. The fully upgraded dragon, but I really do like the dogs too. But yeah, whatever, that's not what we're here to talk about in today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you next week, hopefully on Wednesday, with an on-time upload. Bye, everyone.